And so it's no longer about sites that live on the web or apps that live on our phone. It, it, uh, we started, I started to notice this when I was working with Daily Mav, when I was working with um, some of these other businesses, that you know, how can we create tools to, uh, it, it was really the space was moving to create tools to, that uh, uh, build experiences that enhance our daily lives. So we started with one digital picture frame in my orthodontist office. This is it. You're going to have to turn your head because it doesn't want to do anything else. <laughs> and, um, you know, and that I sold ads on. Put my phone number on there and I had nutrition. I had like a nutrition shop and a couple other places that, um, that would advertise on there. And so I, I wanted people to talk about the display or what we call blab about it, right? So I started mixing in trivia, slides um, on how to brush your teeth properly, and pictures of cats. Those are always popular. Um, as I started visiting more offices and asking people to install Blackboards, I realized marketing departments weren't so keen on having ads and other people's ads in their spaces, but they were interested in investing in digital signage for their own um, for their own per internal marketing. So uh, to give you guys a better picture, because sometimes uh, people are like, digital signage, um, those that are not in the industry are kind of like, I see it everywhere, but I don't really know what it is. You know, uh, Platt Research uh, Institute's pretty much kind of our go-to uh, research facility. And you know, they're saying that seven billion bucks was spent last year on digital signage. And uh, you know, it has a 32% uh, percent annual growth rate. Guys, quick question. Um, raise your hand if you saw a digital sign, like a TV, a screen playing digital messaging in the last week. All right, what about the last day? Hour? Okay, yeah, you should see, they're, they're all over this building. We made sure of that. Um, so as you can tell, signage is everywhere, and the space is, is um, exploding. And so that was kind of where we, we realized that there was an opportunity here. Um, you, you can kind of see the different verticals. These are all verticals that we work with and businesses that uh, we've put signs in. Um, and you know, you notice it's across the board. And uh, what's going to happen is you're going to see more and more. There's, there's having a static display is no longer, if you go to a larger city, uh, you don't see static menu boards. Uh, and here in the Midwest, we're a little behind on that trend, but um, more and more businesses are starting to realize that yes, we can do digital signage uh, as the costs and the technology have caught up, and we're kind of trying to push that. So we kind of had a decision to make uh, whether to do it on our own, uh, and we did. We spent, you know, I raised some money and uh, we built a, you know, we, we built a kind of prototype. And uh, we realized that we were light years behind um, what was out there. So uh, we kind of, this last year, we partnered with a company called Catalyst in South Dakota. And um, they have a platform called Revel. And Revel then became, we kind of adopted Revel as, um, as our own. And we started providing sales support. And um, so basically, Rebel would funnel leads our way, and then we'd take care of the leads, and we service the accounts. Um, and so it literally, the, our business changed from selling ads to becoming a, uh, a VAR, a value-added reseller, uh, focusing on installation, integration, um, and procurement of digital signage. Um, you guys can read this on, on the site, but to give you an idea of how uh, far this platform has come. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that it can do. And, you know, here's a, here's a little, this is just a tablet. You can go to the Play Store and download Revel Digital. It's a top three app for digital signage in the Play Store right now in the world. And uh, you can see with, uh, with, through an online web portal, you can control, you can add images, you can add streaming content. Uh, with a little bit of scripting, you can make your tablet, t uh, turn it into a touch kiosk. Um, there's just a lot you can do with it. So, and, you know, I'll take you, uh, you can kind of, I'll take you through the back end, but this is really, this is really just stuff to help manage the display. So, you know, folks go in, they can add their, they can see all their displays, what's playing, what content is playing on it. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. And, you know, they can register devices, they can add content, upload content, just like you upload pictures to Facebook, um, you know, and 
what's interesting about the media is that uh, we worked with Revel to make sure that it, all uh, file types are supported. So whether you're uploading a PDF or a PowerPoint or a video or an image, um, it's pretty easy to do. And then you can create playlists, uh, there's uh, templates, and this is the template editor. That's really what you're seeing on these screens is it's easy to just drag and drop different items onto your template editor. Oops, I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> And then you can create schedules. For larger clients, um, this was kind of a big deal um, because you can, uh, you can do what's called day parting. So I'll kind of fast forward through all this. Um, what you can see here is this is how we make our money. We sell uh, monthly licensing for the software. Um, it's pretty straightforward depending on what client needs are. Uh, we also sell hardware accessories, uh, screens, tablets, installation services, customer management, um, and also we partnered with Revel to do projects such as advanced audience analytics, so we can do um, give age, gender, how, many, how long a viewer looked at a screen, what, who looked at a screen, um, and we get uh, royalties from that because we co-developed that with them. So kind of the longer vision, um, we have a few for us, it all comes down to partnerships. It comes down to finding the retailers that are investing in signage. It comes down to finding the, um, the, the folks that want interactive tablets that realize that, yes, I can create a kiosk at my, um, at my checkout counter and promote items and uh, get folks to sign up for my email list, my birthday club. Um, you know, we really want to be uh, one of the engines that's powering um, out-of-home experiences around the world. So when, when you see a menu board, um, you know, when you see a menu board, when you see uh, one of these tablets, uh, we, we want to be that technology or we want to be that technology partner that's, that's, uh, that's helped procure that for, um, for that business. So sorry, I kind of went all over the place. But uh, that's kind of, in a nutshell, what we do. <laughs>